Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conrad. Welcome back to more Let's Play Pikmin. In the last episode, we went to the Forest Naval and we discovered blue Pikmin and got ourselves two new ship parts. In this episode, we're going to be going to the impact site once again and get the other ship part that's there now that we can do that. There? Now that we can do that? Okay, no. Whatever. Anyway, here's the impact site and we're getting back into the monotonously cool music, if that makes any sense. That's exactly how I describe the music here. Um, our first priority is going to be getting up our blue numbers, because, simply put, we need more attraction blues. Okay. Now that we got that, uh, these Peliposies change colors every so often. It's kind of like a game. If that makes any sense of that somehow being fun to you. Uh, boom. Okay. So we got blue pellets. Good. Carry those back. Get our... Cell phone ringing. Okay, now that that is over, I have my cat bothering me now, going like, mm, like cuddling against my arm, even though I'm clearly recording, and he's like, I want to be part of the spotlight too. I want to be mentioned on a YouTube channel. He probably really would sound like that if he could talk, considering he's full grown at six pounds. But yes, that's Kirby for you. Yes, my cat's name is Kirby. For those of you who actually didn't know that. A lot of people actually always... Every time I mention my cats, everyone's like, what's your cat's name? Like, I've said it quite a few times in my videos what my cat's names are. They're Kirby and Teddy. Teddy named after the uh, uh, fourth hero in Mother 1. Kirby, obviously, named after the other Nintendo character. Okay. So yes, now that we're done talking about my cats, this is easily the best day in the game for getting more Pikmin. Wait. Is he stuck? Okay, good. He was stuck there for a second. If I swear to God, if it was the Puff stools remains over again. I would have freaking shot somebody. Uh, let's get our blues on that. Okay, we have 15 blues now. Uh, we're probably going to want to uh, get out our other Pikmin besides blues here in just a moment. Um, there's a geyser right here that you're going to want to have your Pikmin attack so that all of them can get up there. Uh, you cannot attack this geyser on the first day, unfortunately. I've tried it. It doesn't work. I don't know why. I guess the geyser just doesn't render that. Kirby, go away. I'm sorry, but... You can sit on my lap another time, not when I need to actually have room to breathe so that I can talk. <laughs> okay. All right. Get that out of the way. We gotta get our Pikmin up there. And now that they're all up there, uh, let's get out... 21 reds, because we got to have enough to carry back that pellet. And we're going to get out 20 yellers. Yellers. Alright. Let's do this. Just... There's also nectar right there if you want to upgrade your Pikmin, though, but I don't really need to, so... And uh, Oh, wait, those are 10 pellets, not 20 pellets. Okay, screw that. You can have a maximum of 20 carry them, though, which is nice. And Wee! I'm playing this on the Nintendo Wii! Okay, I wrote up the geyser and it was fun. I wrote up a geyser, I loved it. Okay. I don't know where I was going with that. I don't know, like, what I was saying there. I was saying it like I was making some sort of joke, but that really just didn't go anywhere. Okay, fine. And, hey, don't go after the nectar by... No, I can't... Guys, don't go after nectar by yourselves. The thing is, one Pikmin can eat up an entire unit of nectar by themselves if they're right there when the nectar comes up. So you want to really be careful about that and direct them in there with the D-pad or with the C button. Um, speaking of the D-pad, only in the GameCube version, to my knowledge, if you know how to do it in the Wii version, feel free to post a video response because I'd love to see it. If you hold down on the D-pad, Olimar will actually lie down and the Pikmin will carry him back to the onion. He gets sucked up into the onion and then fireworks shoot out. I know how to do that in the GameCube version, though, but I've tried a lot of stuff, and I haven't been able to do it in the Wii version, because down on the D-pad is the replacement of the C-stick in this game. So, yeah, it's kind of weird. I don't know why they... I, I assume there's a way to do it, and if there isn't, it's probably still in the game's code, and you could at least hack it in, but... Oh, well. I'm not going to do that, though, but anyway. Uh, yeah, if you know how to do it, I'd love to see it. Post a video response. Uh, let's, um... We don't have any, well, not very many at least, uh, flower blue Pikmin, so we're going to take care of that. Um, blue Pikmin are going to be really helpful here, though, because you need to have them. Well, actually, you need to have all types of Pikmin, except for, well, reds you don't, but still. Let's fill up the remainder of our squad. Oh, we can't! <laughs> Amazing. Let's get reds. 
Okay, 100 Pikmin. Yay, they're jumping off of their onion. They're like, wee! Okay. Come here. Come here, yellow. Come here, yellow. Come here, yellow. Would you guys... So I'm gonna say, that is an iridescent flint beetle. Uh, only way to damage it is to throw Pikmin directly on top of it and flip it over. It drops pellets. Uh, it can also drop nectar. And in Pikmin 2, it can drop a lot of other stuff, including uh, sometimes even items. Um, so that is how you do it. I believe after the third time it won't drop any more stuff, though, but that is how, what an iridescent flint beetle is. Uh, there's also upgrade... Well, that, it allures Pikmin with its glimmeriness. Uh, there's also iridescent glint beetles in Pikmin 2, uh, which are gold, and those are usually the ones that have the valuable items. But, yeah. Come here. Uh, okay, apparently I can't carry up a whole squad up there, though, so we gotta break stuff up. We're breaking stuff up! Get our yellows. Our bombs. Come with me, bombs. Do, 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 do. I can just picture Bomb Pikmin, you know, marching to, like, a really good battle anthem. And now that we've destroyed the wall, uh, I'm gonna try something I actually haven't really had the balls to try yet. I'm going to try using bombs on this. This is a Pearly Clam Clam. Uh, pearly Clam Clams are among some of the most devastating enemies in the game. They have no limit on how many Pikmin they can kill at once, making them very... Oh, cool! So yeah, uh, using bomb rocks on them is apparently really good, and they also can attack after they die, so you want to be careful about that. That is the only one... Well, let's try it. Let's see if we can throw... A Pikmin. Well, no, actually, I don't think you can. Dang it. Uh, you can kill that one using uh, yellows, but apparently you can't kill the others. Uh, now that we're done with that, let's get all of our blues, because we're going to need the blues the most. And also that pearl that it dropped is going to give you, I believe, 50 Pikmin. So really good to get that. Let's get our blues, come on. Because we need more blues. Like, we are, like, seriously lacking in blues. Like, I should have gotten so many more blues on the first day of having them than I did. All right, yeah, yeah, go ahead and glitter. You're not an iridescent flint beetle, you suck. Okay. Come on. Let's bring our Pikmin all up here, because we got to really carry a lot of stuff back. Okay, apparently these two love me so much, they're not going to listen to orders, so okay, fine. You boys can come with me. Okay. Let's not have you guys make any sort of jokes that are bestiality or anything like that with... Well, then again, is there a such name as, like, bestiality with a plant? I don't know. Maybe I don't want to know what it is. It'll probably spawn a lot of Sonic X jokes in the comments also if I were to talk about that, though, so... Uh, 20 yellows. Carry that back, because we really don't have anything better to do with it. Uh, yellows are the only ones that can... Well, actually, no, never mind. I think, uh... Actually, no, I think only yellows can reach up there. I think it's up there that reds can reach on the first day. Um... Okay. Not many blues, unfortunately. Still trying to raise them up. Of course. I apologize if this day isn't that entertaining, though, but yeah, this day is mostly just raising up your numbers. That's really all you're doing. Is just trying to raise your numbers. Uh, on your Pikmin, though. So... Alright, gotta wait for them to go into the onion and report on false news stories and do that stuff. Okay. 60 blues. Exactly what I need. Well, not exactly, though, but close enough for me to be able to compensate in a lazy way. I uh, used that nectar that we didn't use before to get all these guys up to flowers, or at least most of them. Don't carry the pellet! Thank you. God. I'm having so many Pikmin carrying stuff that I don't want them to carry. Always. Okay. Catch up with us, because you guys were too stupid and going after the pellet when I wanted you to go after the nectar. Now we got another pearl right there that we can get, which we will get second priority to this, which is our uh, ship part for this. Now you want to press A repeatedly, and then once the clam goes back all the way, call him back. Come on. You're kidding me. They were clearly in the whistle. They were. You saw that. They were in the whistle. Okay. Closed. Clean. 
Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, go, 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 go. Good. I kind of like the animation when he eats the Pikmin, even though it's, like, disturbing that he's killing that many Pikmin, though, still. I mean, it's just, like, chomp, 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 chomp. And again, they can attack after they die, so you want to be sure no Pikmin are there when the thing is going to slam shut, because it will slam shut one more time after it's dead. Come on. Alright, and just a couple more. Go, 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 go. Yes, yes, yes. This is the Positron Generator. By combining batteries and solar cells, the machine can generate incredible amounts of electricity with a timely find. These instant space noodles will taste better heat up. What was wrong with your... Oh, crap. What was wrong with your crap? Uh, what was wrong with your eternal fuel dynamo? Whatever happened to unlimited sources of electricity, huh? Whatever happened to that? What, was that just not good enough for you and you needed to have a solar energy generator too? Okay, fine. Be selfish. Okay, go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on. Thank you. We want to get this pearl. Um... I'm mainly just worried about getting this pearl for our blues as well as that 20 pellet for our blues. Just because that'll make things a lot easier. Because we do need a lot more blues than what we have. Alright, come on. A little more, 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 Come back. Okay. Just a couple more times. Okay. And check it out. We are one Pikmin short of having all blues carry back that pellet. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, wait, 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 we had blues down here! We had blues down there, guys! Oh, I get so excited over just the stupidest things, though, but I don't care! We had blues down there, damn it! Oh, positron generator, the electric generator is so powerful that if you approach it carelessly, you'll get an electric shock. I'd love to see a comic of that. I mean, could you imagine Olimar getting hit with an electric shock, you know, like his eyes bugging out like they do in Brawl? Uh, that'd be so funny. Uh, okay. Now, they got, they're carrying back the pearl, that's good. Uh, I don't need to carry that back. Uh, I don't really want to, rather. Uh, we're gonna carry back this blue pellet of 20, though, because we do need a lot more blues. Honestly, the reds and yellows, they can go screw themselves. Okay, they can't go screw themselves. Oh, actually, that's their decision, though, but whatever! Let's just carry back the blue pe- What, do you not like hearing whistles anymore just because you have a bomb? You think that makes you special over the other Pikmin? Well, okay, immediately he could drop the bomb and just- kill everybody, but I wish he wouldn't do that. Uh, where? Okay, let's see all our Pikmin. Uh, we have some that are planted in the ground, and then we got them carrying that back. Okay. As long as we have 100 in the field, we're good. We don't have to worry about picking them again, though, so we will get the uh, Pikmin from that, which is great. Good. Good. Okay. Don't want you to carry stuff back. Do not want... I believe we have 23 carrying that. Oh, here's our yellows. Okay. There we go. Okay. Oh, no, 22. Okay. Making sure... Yes, 22! Awesome! No Pikmin unaccounted for. All present and accounted for, sir! Okay. And all that is over. I'm gonna cut ahead to them carrying it back. And there we go! We 50 Pikmin were carrying that. Alright, and that just shot up our number. And we're just going to put all of our blues away so we can see how many we have. We now have 146 blues up from having 8 this morning. Uh, yellows. We still don't have very many yellows, but again, I'm not very concerned about having a lot of yellows. Because like I said, yellows are the least useful. And then as for reds, we have 112 reds. Okay, not bad. We probably could have gotten the red pellet though, but I'm not really concerned with that. I didn't really like want to invest time in doing that as opposed to getting the pearls so yeah anyway 10 seconds remain all right hey check it out a bomb right no look at this a bomb i'm gonna play with the bomb i'm gonna play with the bomb unfortunately the game prevents you from doing that dang it i wanted to play with the bomb you know what let's kill a plant i'm gonna kill a plant before the time's up go 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 okay Look out! I'm on a masochistic killing spree! Flowers! Fear thy Olimar! Okay, come on. Come on. Kill, 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 kill. Ha! I killed two more! Just try to stop me. Ah, oh, dang it. It stopped me. Okay. Five days since impact. I have seen that at times the leaf atop of Pikmin's head will grow into a bud, then a flower. It appears as though that if I do not Pikmin sprouts, they gradually bloom over time. Fascinating. 
This melding of plant and animal traits is surely unique in this natural world. I have found the flower pikmin possesses increased swiftness when in a rush. I have also found that pressing and holding A and calling flower pikmin forth with the control pad would be quite an effective strategy. I have also found new sprouts found growing on days following fierce battles are the results of seeds being left behind. Yeah, what he just said there, sometimes flower pikmin will leave behind a seed when they die, if they get left behind. Well, if they just die in general. And that'll have you have pikmin that you can pick on the next day. Anyway, though, now that we did that, we lost four in battle, not too bad. Okay, only 29 parts remaining. So anyway, yeah, that about does it, though. So, next time on Let's Play Pikmin, we're going to be heading back to the Forest of Hope and getting the parts that we can get there now, and hopefully getting 100% in that area, okay? See you guys then.